Hi, this is Nessi. This tutorial is for those of you who are interested in realistic oil pastel. So here what you see is a final drawing and I will be taking you through a time lapse tutorial. This is the same scene I had drawn with Diana in my first video. In the first video I had simplified this image so that it can be taught to small kids. So if you're interested in the kids version of this drawing, the link is in the description box below. Here I have started off with the rock area. Ideally, we should cover up the sky area with a white oil pastel first, but I had run out of white oil pastels, that's why I started off with the rock. So here basically I covered up the entire rock area in grey after roughly sketching out the area where the bushes have grown over the rocks i will be using black burnt umber gray yellow ochre and white so here you can see i keep adding brown black and then i blend it with gray at some places some places i blend it with the brown okay here what happened was accidentally i happened to smash my black oil pastel and i had some really small pieces of the pastel left so i actually used it with my blending stump and it was very good for creating those rock textures i just pressed the pastel powder onto the paper with the blending stump and spread it over As you can see I keep switching between the colors I had mentioned. The truth is I do not have a very structured way of working. So what I'll do is I will make a separate video only to show you how the rocks can be done realistically in oil pastel and I will try and make it more structured so that it will be easier for you to understand. At this point I would like to add that if you haven't yet subscribed and if you find this video useful please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications So here you can see how I'm doing the bushes. After covering up the bush area first in a light green, I go over separate out the bushes using black for the shadows, some yellow ochre to give some variation to the leaves and some dark green. All these colors need to blend in so that they don't stand out as separate patches. You will be able to see this better when you see how I do the huge patch of green that you can see on the right.
here I have started off with the bushes now you can see more clearly how I use the different colors to blend them into each other so that they are not patchy and at the same time it is not a smooth blend because we need to give a texture to the bushes so once again the colors that I am using here a verdian green, a light green, yellow ochre, black, some lemon yellow for a few highlights and a little bit of brown here and there.
so one portion of the work is done and this is what the picture looks like so far so there's a tiny boat there and I'm doing that first it's uh, better to do it first because in case when we do the water since it's oil pastel it is difficult to keep the line sharp and it can go over the boat when that happens what we will do as a finishing touch at the end we can scrape out details of the boat if you apply the dark colors of the water first you cannot really scrape out and get a light colored shade for the boat so for the water we are first blending verdian green and a dark brown okay here actually as i had told in the beginning of the video i had run out of white oil pastels and during this covid 19 season i did not want to go out and get new ones so i just used my daughter's oil pastels it did not blend as well as pentel oil pastels would but i made do with it now you can see in the sky you would get a much more softer effect if you were to use creamier oil pastels but since I had used a kids brand you know it's a little bit patchy but yeah in the end I just made it work I used the hair dryer to help with the blending wherever I have used the white oil pastel mountains at the distance I have used dark blue, burnt tumper, verdian green and then blended everything together with white Here I've started adding some details to the water, basically small horizontal wavy black strokes. It creates the impression of waves in water. Also I'm adding more dark green and brown as required. Here I'm adding yellow ochre into the water for showing the reflection of the boat. This portion of the water has already been covered with white and I'm going over with grey. On the upper area it is just short strokes of grey. The mountain I found it to be too dark so I'm covering it again with white and blending. Just to push it to the distance. It has to look like distant mountains. I just started off with the boat leaving the water for later. For the light shade on the board I am layering a very light brown over which I added a very light layer of burnt umber and now I am blending it with white. Here I'm using a shade similar to Burnt Sienna. Now I'm darkening the Burnt Sienna areas using black. 
I'm using a blending stump to blend them together. trying to add in a few shadows shade some highlights Here I'm adding some grey for the shadow areas. I'm just adding grey and blending it using the stump and white oil pastel. These details are a bit hard to explain. I hope you can see the colors that I'm using here. At some places it is the rock behind which is being seen through. So that is what I'm trying to indicate. And wherever we have the railings, I'm scraping it out with the thermocol cutter. Thank you. 
over here i'm trying to indicate some people not to exactly make human figures but just to indicate a few people standing there Another thing I forgot to mention earlier, you can see how I'm scratching out details with a thermocol cutter. Wherever possible, when you know where these white spaces are supposed to be seen, try to cover those areas with a white oil pastel in advance. It just makes it easier to scratch them out later with the thermocol cutter and to get nice white spaces. Because sometimes what happens is when we first use the dark shades of the oil pastel, the oil pastel gets well into the tooth of the paper and then it becomes difficult to get these white spaces. However, if you do have a difficulty in scraping out, you will need to scrape a bit into the paper. I mean you will need to literally cut into the paper to get the white lines at times. Here I've started detailing the water again. So I'm adding some black and some burnt umber into the water for the dark areas. I'm also adding some yellow ochre into some areas in the water. Here I've started off making tiny waves in the water. So for this I'm using the Verdian green, burnt umber, grey and blending it with white. I also add a bit of black into the waves as and when required. Right now I'm pulling some of the white into the green areas. You will see how the water looks more natural after this step. Some of the green ripples into the white and some of the white ripples into the green. It just makes the water look more natural. Here I'm adding light brown into the water to show the reflection of the board. Again going over with a bit of black because all these colors need to blend and merge into each other. Not exactly blend completely but they need to just merge in with each other.
here i'm scraping out a few highlights I was not very happy with the sky so I'm just trying to soften out the sky a bit more pulling some of the bushes into the sky so that it looks more natural and now as a final step detailing out the little board there adding reflections into the water just a few final finishing touches and we'll be done with this and that's it that is the completed artwork if you are interested in realistic art do check out my page on Instagram and also do subscribe to my channel for more such realistic art videos this original oil pastel work will be available for purchase if you are interested in this or in any other customized artwork you can either send me a message on Instagram or you can send me an email you will find my email ID and Insta page link in the description box. Thank you for watching.